Where's Dawn on Collective? It's your girl, Janiqua A, and I'm back with another reading for you guys. Y'all already know I love you guys, and I know all your dreams and aspirations matter. So y'all see what Zek I got out here. So y'all already know it's definitely a message in here for you guys. So the overall message and what Spirit wants me to touch up on today is clear as day, exit fast. Whoever's watching this, exit fast. Don't even put no more energy into whatever situation that we are about to get into. Just exit. All right. It says, stop fighting your demons and make friends with them. Stay in control. So what I'm getting is that you guys are giving your power away. You guys are giving your power away just by entertaining stupid shit. You guys are giving your power away by arguing with senseless people. Just by somebody knowing that they could get under your skin and make rumors about you or call you with some drama. By you engaging in that low vibrational act will have your energy stolen and put you down so low, so low. And you could be feeling like you was 10 steps ahead and then boom, you 10 steps back by just off of engaging in that argument. And that's what the enemy does. The enemy will go after you with arguing, like trying to lie on you so you could try to defend yourself. But what are you really defending? I always tell y'all when somebody is lying on y'all, when somebody is trying to scream or cause an argument, you already won. So exit fast. And instead of engaging with these demonic ass energies that y'all got attached to y'all. Make peace with them, meaning block them out your life. That's why the block button is there. If you are getting antagonized on social media, stop trying to put on the front and stop trying to clap back and block them. Stop trying to prove a point. You don't need to prove a point when you are a chosen one. The ones that's out here really getting it and minding their business is watching my channel like y'all. Y'all not really into the drama. Y'all watching my channel. Y'all watching everything woke. Y'all chilling. Exit fast, and instead of fighting back, instead of arguing, instead of feeling like you got to defend yourself because that's the enemy's plan to drain your energy, block them out your life. Start praying more. Start gaining spiritual strength because this is spiritual warfare, and this is not a game. Y'all keep saying out here thinking it's a game, or oh, y'all reading terror, and y'all reading all this twin flames and love. What about this? What about people really attacking you for no reason? What about you engaging and fighting back and posting stuff on social media, making fake accounts to try to prove a point for what? Because once you do that, all you're doing is giving the other person more energy and you're fueling them. So if you guys are going through any situation like that, do not engage, block them because that is, you already won. You know how much people are blocked every day because they try to say stuff or it's just lies. Like, why would I defend somebody? I mean, why would I defend myself to people that do not matter to me in my world? Okay, so that's what y'all need to be on. Definitely a cord cutting ritual. If you go back to my last reading about the banishment, it already says that. A cord cut cutting ritual is needed now. Do that instead of engaging and low vibrational freaking arguments exit fast it says literally put it to rest and let spirit handle it literally why do you think i'm so protected i didn't gain a lot of secret and hidden wisdom and knowledge to be spiritually protected okay because i put myself in the line of fire when i'm out here giving you these messages basically i'm interrupting the man downstairs work because i'm telling the truth i'm interrupting the demon's plans the divine the um demonic fems and the demonic masculines when i'm out here giving y'all information so y'all can be equipped so i get attacked the most do you see me out here fumbling the bags do you see me out here um crying and saying oh my gosh no i'm fighting back and I'm not talking about physical fighting because physical fighting, that can heal. Spiritual fighting, that's going to carry you. <laughs> so I, I advise y'all to master spiritual. I, mas I advise y'all to master some type of spiritual protection, some type of um, ability to be equipped to engage in spiritual warfare. Because fighting and physical fighting and carrying guns and, and knives and, and wanting to fight women and men, that's not going to help when you're getting attacked by ancestors. And I can only speak for mine, but my, my ancestors is literally on demon terms. 
All right, so let spirit handle it. Put it to rest, meaning block them. Clear them out your life. And what y'all keep trying to do, y'all keep blocking them, but posting on social media, trying to gain some type of views and stuff. Don't do nothing for nobody views. I'm telling y'all, when I, when I started this, this channel, I was like, oh my gosh, why my views is not getting up? Or, you know, and I realized that my views wasn't getting up because it just needed to reach a selective people. Now look how my channel is growing as we speak. Stop doing things for views. Stop doing things for clout. Because when you be individual and when you try and when you embrace your own individuality and stop moving on everybody's timing and stop doing that low vibrational shit, then you could focus on your spiritual practice. Because right now somebody is going through a spiritual warfare. It says we're black and evil are. And y'all out here, you see the spirit. Everybody think black magic and spiritual. Thank you. All right. So I'm and it's six o'clock. So I'm about to hit on something that's a fact. Everybody out here think that black magic and spiritual warfare is, oh, you see demons, you see black. No. It's about when you feeling completely fine and you wake up one day and you feel fucking confused. You feeling like everything stopped. Everything that was coming together completely stopped. It's about you feeling sick. Your body feeling hurt and everybody saying, oh, it's a common cold. Ain't no fucking common cold. You being spiritually attacked. So where your energy is being sucked and dry because you're fueling the fire by engaging with any type of low vibrational acts. Especially when you don't cut nobody off. I'm telling you, anybody that cut me off and I even think, if I shut my eyes and I even think that somebody is low vibrational, I, you know what, I'm cutting you off because why the fuck would myself lie to me? <laughs> Why would my my own mind lie to me? It's when we don't listen to our own mind. It's when we engage in this fighting because they know, the enemy know how to get us. So stop thinking you're going to see these black demons and start realizing you're getting attacked by your mind. You're getting attacked by engaging in fucking low vibrational arguments. You're getting attacked by attacking others that's minding their business. You're actually even getting attacked by attaching yourself to shit that don't even matter to you. Like, even readings. Y'all, some of y'all getting readings and y'all attaching your fucking self to a reading and forgetting that it is a general reading. Do you know how much people watch my channel? Do you know how much people watch other people's channel? Stop attaching yourself to shit that don't got nothing to do with you. You think I'ma watch a reading and it's talking about low vibrational shit and I'm like, yeah, because that motherfucker, no. Even if they talking about comics and it's low vibrational, I'm not watching it. Uh, the only way I'ma talk about and watch her reading about comics and bad shit is if there's a solution. In my channel, I always find a solution. So stop engaging in this fucking low vibrational shit by arguing, fighting back, and do a core cutting. Cut them people out your life. Exit fast. You have nothing to prove only but to the divine or who you seek as a higher source in yourself. Put it to rest and gain some type of spiritual inheritance. It's just like going to the drink gym. How the fuck you think you're going to be equipped to fight spiritually when all you did was fight in your real life? Y'all don't know. Y'all think y'all bad. I think y'all bad in the streets. Y'all think y'all bad in the streets. But half of y'all, whoever is this reader is going to be for that's engaging in this stupid shit. It's not going to help your hands, those guns, anything that you use to think that you're being bad is not going to help when you get your ass whooped spiritually. When you waking up and you going outside and you fucking with a chosen one and that chosen one not fucking with you, but she's so spiritually or he so, he's so spiritually honored that you go outside and something happens to you. Like that's the type of shit I'm on. Like anybody that mess with me, I don't have to do nothing. All I got to do is pray on it and forgive them because they don't know what they doing. Because if they knew what they was doing, they wouldn't do it. So sometimes you got to pray for people like that because spirit is going to handle that ass. Worse than you could ever beat somebody up. Worse, okay? So that is for somebody. Exit fast. Put it to rest. Wear black because there's an evil eye being thrown at you. And the truth is right in your fucking face. Pay attention. The truth is right in your face about something that you keep going back and forth with, uh, with these demons. Because they know the truth and they know that you're about to exit. And the only thing that they could do is keep bringing up old shit that's going to antagonize you. Heal from that. Because whoever. Hold on, because they don't want me to talk. Whoever that you need to cut the cord from. 
now, whoever that you need to exit fast now from is only putting themselves in a fucked up predicament because all you got to do is stop fighting your demons. Stop engaging in shit and make friends with them, meaning cut them off and start praying. Stop praying for help. Stop praying for your defense. You better start asking your ancestors to get on their ass. I am not afraid to ask my ancestors to get on their ass. Because I'm not about to fight. I'm too beautiful. I'm a queen. I'm a goddess. I'm a high priestess. And I got a, I got a mission. I got to stay diligent to my mission and doing God's work. Because this is how I get my bag. And I'm talking about a major bag. So you got to be diligent in what you're doing and just pray about this shit. And I bet you, you'll start seeing your enemies drop like flies. And that's my spirit is singing. Exit fast. Put it to rest. And let, let God handle it. So that way they can get their fucking karma. Stop fighting your demons and make way with them. All right? We're black and evil. Get on demon time, I'm hearing. Some of y'all think spirituality is all about love and light. No, it is not. And I hate that about people. People always think, oh, it's about love and light. Nigga, it's about spiritual warfare. It ain't always about crystals. Crystals and shit is just to get our energy at a high vibration so we can be equipped. That shit is just like tools to gain fucking spiritual uh strength that ain't that ain't really got nothing to, it's not gonna help you when you having a whole bunch of demons attacking your dreams and every time you go outside shit fumbling for you and you got jazabelle spirit trying to eat you and fucking your sleep and putting and causing death and disease on you you gotta learn how to fight spiritual warfare you gotta learn how to do candle magic but not the good because any type of low level candle magic i'm telling y'all right now any type of low vibrational candle magic that you're doing is gonna go right back to y'all it is going to go right back to y'all because y'all sending evil energy. Y'all might as well just pray for that energy and tell your ancestors to get on their ass. Because we not God. We don't have the ability to take control and make decisions of someone's life. So that was a fucking message. All right. Huh. So tell me about this core cutting spirit. Yeah. What I told you. There's a core cutting that needs to be done immediately and somebody know you're about to exit fast and they are fucking concerned. They about to receive a message of concern that you are about to cut the cord on their ass. If you be smart. What is this truth is right in your face? Pay attention. The truth is right in your face with that fucking letter. What is this truth right in your face? Pay attention. Y'all over here engaging in, spir in, in spiritual attacks that y'all not even equipped to fight. Look, expecting the truth is right in, the in your face. Uh, pay attention. And you over here looking out the window and you not looking at what you really need to be looking at. The truth is right in your face. Pay attention. Stop looking and glancing. What are you even looking at? Collectives? I'm being like y'all mother right now. I'm giving y'all tough love because what the fuck is y'all looking at if the truth is right in your face? Stop expecting you from motherfuckers. Everybody ain't you. Everybody is not angels. Do you know that these are fallen angels? Why the fuck you think we at war? If there was good in the world, why do you think that we are war? Why do you think that spirit sends psychics like me and other tarot card readers to tell y'all these things? Put it to, what is exit fast? Look, somebody is a concern. There's a male and a female that just received a message of concern. They are both, both concerned. All right? About this court cutting ritual. So you need to fucking stop looking out the window and realize that there's two people here in these energies that is a major concern. They are scared. All right? Possibly an older male. Okay? Stop expecting and look at these motherfuckers. You looking away. You looking away of these motherfuckers and these motherfuckers is right in your face. Please pay attention, collectives. Please. What is this? Put it to rest and let spirit handle it. Don't argue with them no more. Block them. They feed it off your energy as soon as you pick up the phone, as soon as you text them back. This is put it to rest and let spirit handle it. Look, and you're, 
Oh my gosh, I do not lie. You're somebody held in high honor like me in the spiritual realm. That's why you're watching my channel. And for the others, the ones that, that's doing this, y'all already see what's coming to y'all, okay? But for my collective that's been looking out the window expecting you from motherfuckers and you got a masculine and a feminine that's concerned now that you about to exit fast and cut the cord on their ass, it's right in your face. I just clarify, put it to rest, and let spirit handle it because you in high honor. I'm telling you, when I be asking my ancestors to fuck them up, they release the motherfucking karma, bitch. Your ancestors is wanting to hold you in high honor, but they can't because you keep feeding into this bullshit. Put it to rest and let spirit release the fucking demons back on their ass. That's the only way they're going to fucking learn, okay? Stop fighting your demons and make friends with them. Stay in control. What is that? What is that here for? Yeah, look. Stop fighting this karmic ass couple and stay in control. You gotta be the judge here. You have to be the judge of these two fucking individuals in your motherfucking life. Stop fighting your demons. These two motherfuckers is demons. Stop fighting them and make friends, meaning block their ass and let spirit, ooh, let spirit hand out the motherfucking karma. What is this? Wear black. Look, wear black because there's a gift coming and niggas are scared of your gift is what I'm hearing. Clarify that spirit. What is this? Wear black. Damn. Yup. Because somebody is privileged here. Somebody is privileged. You have everything. We're black. I think that's self-explanatory. Yeah, look. Because they in despair. They in despair. You need to cut a cord right now. Everything literally is right in front of you. And we're going to go down this line. Okay? So right now, you are looking the opposite way. From the truth right now. The truth is right in front of you. Pay attention. Stop looking out the window and start looking what's right in front of you. All right. There is a woman here that is just received a message of concern and you need to court, cut a cord, do a cord cutting ritual now. She just received a message of concern, or you could have just received a message of concern that you need a cord, that you need a cut of cord. All right, there's a masculine that either needs to exit fast. Or you need to exit fast from a masculine because they ain't concerned. So this masculine could be concerned about whatever they found out and they didn't need they need to exit fast. Remember, y'all gotta switch the energies around. Or you need to exit fast from this masculine. Okay? But either way, there's a masculine and a feminine that isn't concerned here. All right? You need to put it to rest and let spirit handle it, okay? Because you are somebody of high honor. And as soon as you stop feeding these demonic people your energy, they are going to at least the fucking loads, all right? Cannon after cannon, karma after karma. You're not going to have to do nothing. You're, gonna, you're just going to be peaceful like me, fucking doing God's work, and God's protecting you because he knows you're risking your, your life by doing this, but you're going to be spiritually protected because I am spiritually equipped to fight in the spiritual realm, realm and I'm here to, oh, look, y'all saw that. Y'all didn't see it. I'm here to help y'all. Stop fighting your demons and make friends with them because you're sitting here Letting these karmic ass couple dictate shit when you are the judge. Stop fighting these people and make friends with them because you need to hold them accountable. Spirit is waiting for you to plunge that thing that go bing and serve their time so then they can unleash that fucking, the, that karma on their ass. All right? We're black. And because somebody is sending an evil eye because you're privileged. Everything gets done to you because what I'm hearing is that you're spiritually protected like you got spiritual inheritance that's why you privileged everything is not about money because money can get taken from you you could get robbed you could possibly die nothing can happen to this privileged woman or a man because you could be in your thing energy you could be in your divine feminine energy if you are or if you are masculine but whoever this is is in deep regret despair they don't have no fucking work they don't have nothing they're they they self-esteem is shot and they just in despair so that's what I have for you guys. I love you and stay safe.